Hey guys, what's going on? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces, and today we're just going to be testing out my concerns that we have with the RTX uh, 3000 series, at least the Founders Editions, GPUs on a mining rig. Currently, we're looking at the GTX 1070. You can see how hot the temperatures are getting uh, here on a hot floor today. I did try liquid metal, and if you haven't caught up yet, I did use liquid metal on that 980 Ti. I don't recommend it for long-term use, so cry or not, it is. We do have a fresh uh, amount of cryonaut on this GPU. And depending on the day, uh, or the time of day, excuse me, you know, nighttime, it's 68 to uh, 70 degrees Celsius. During the day, when it's really hot, uh, it could be anywhere from 70 to 72 degrees Celsius. Even with the fan at 100%, the blower style coolers aren't exactly efficient for mining, but it's gonna be good for this test because we're gonna find out if the 3080 with the Founders Edition design it's going to be just blowing hot air directly into the GPU, increasing thermals. Because that's one of my biggest concerns with the Founders Editions is that the rear fan is just taking hot air from the GPU and dispersing it into the next GPU over. Whereas traditionally, you could see these GPUs are just dispersing it everywhere. Up, down, uh, out, but not backwards into the next GPU. So let me go ahead and get that card set up right in front of the 3070. And then we'll go ahead and look at the thermal differences and go from there. So as you can see, we got the 3080 in here now. And right off the bat, you can see that we only have an, about half inch of clearance between the fans and the end of this Founders Edition shroud. So most AIBs are going to be a little bit bigger than this. And on a VETA frame, that may, you may not be able to run your fans if you're going to run a bunch of 3080s, at least the AIB and especially the 3090, because the 3090 is about this much bigger than the 3080. I, was, I would probably add like an inch, almost two inches to the height of a 3080, and that's gonna hit the fan, so you might not be able to run it. But we got good airflow. All the fans are trying to blow air towards the front. Even still, with this Founders Edition's fan, uh, you know, because it's trying to cool the VRM, the memory, a little bit from the core, you know, dissipating the heat from this fin stack, it's blowing air directly into the blower style cooler of the 1070. And I can tell you, it's very warm right here. Even with the 120 blowing forward, it's very warm right here. So it's just taking direct heat into this 3070. And I'm pretty sure the temperature is going to be a lot warmer than it was originally. Now, it wouldn't impact just as much uh, a blower style cooler on on the open air ones because the open air dissipates, you know, the, the, the airflow just dissipates everywhere towards the top, bottom sides. But on a blower with the only intake being right there and the only, and one of the exhausts for the 3080 being right here, it's not, it's not going to be as efficient. It's not going to cool as well. So let's look at the temperatures real quick. This is after about 24 hours. And on the 1070, we're currently at 76 degrees Celsius. And if you remember at the beginning, we were around 70, maybe 69 degrees Celsius. With the same ambient air temperature, not only inside the house, but outside here in Florida, we hit a maximum of 80 degrees Celsius and we're averaging 77 degrees Celsius. So that's roughly seven to eight degrees Celsius warmer than it was originally just by having this 3080 Founders Edition in this system. The concern is, imagine if you had eight of these or six of these in a frame, you know, one card at the end will be pushing its heat into the next 3080, which would then push its heat into the next 3080 and so on and so forth. The only difference is maybe it won't impact the fan towards the front here, because again, each card would, that would be impacted by the back fan, but there's still vents right here where the airflow is going to go through. Maybe it just go directly out, but I can see that kind of being a warm setup. Uh, next thing I want to do is I want to put the 1080 Ti, an open air card next to the 3080 and see if that impacts temperatures as well. So let's get an average for what the 1080 Ti is at. 
Currently, we're at 50 degrees Celsius with my current uh, aggressive fan profile. We average 51 degrees Celsius and we hit a maximum of 50 degree, 53 degrees Celsius. So let me swap those cards over and see how that impacts the 1080 Ti. So now we got the 1080 directly behind the 3080 as you can see here. And the 1080 is a beefy cooler. You know, the Oris 1080 Ti, right now the fans are not spinning or anything on this particular card. Why? Well, because Comcast is Comcast and my internet's down. However, the temperatures prior to were reading pretty high. So we were sitting at around 54, 55 C with an average during this duration of 56 C and a maximum of 58 C. So we did increase in temperature and prior to that, we were sitting around 52 degrees Celsius at the time of filming a maximum of 53 and an average of 51. So we went up anywhere from uh, three to five C in temperature. That's the temp we went up three to five degrees in temperature, even with the open air cooler, because this 3080 is dumping air, right? Primarily into these two fans right here. Um, so that is a concern to have. It, it's not as big of a concern with the 1070 blower style cooler because these cards notoriously just by themselves get hot because of the cooler design. Open air won't have so much of an impact by the 3080, but it's still an impact. And I hope that you guys take the data from this video and understand it so that way you can make an educated decision on when you're building your rigs, especially if you're gonna build it all out of 3080s or you know, throw a couple of 3080s or 3090s or whatever it is. With this new FE design, it will impact the thermals of the cards on your mining rig. So just keep that in the back of your mind. Do me a favor, guys. Hit the like button on the way out. Subscribe for more content like this. And hit me up in the comments. Let me know your thoughts of this. And uh, do you have a 3080? And how's it mining for you? Take care, guys.